Hi, we're here at Soul Fest with Clayton and Paul Kangas. Nobody else is selling here, and he has a wonderful design. His house is totally, totally self-sustaining, being that it's passively heated and cooled, and then it can be solar electric, and on property with the rail and septic system, then you don't need any utilities at all. Show us a picture of one of those houses that you've produced. Yes, this house you can see is bermed into the earth, and what appears to be a clear story on top is actually the built-in solar collector that takes care of heating all the air and water. Plus, it provides for the cooling in that above the collector, it opens up to the soffit, and opening up to the soffit, the hot air is allowed to escape, which draws the hot air from the ceiling vents of the house, and in its place, pulls an outside air via the rear wall, which is in contact with the earth in a constant 55 degrees. So it's pulling air in that's less than 60 degrees the more that the sun shines. So it's passively cooled, as well as it being a closed loop in the wintertime for it to be heated. How did you determine the location to get it the most efficient? Uh, you built this particular house that we're looking at in Phoenix? Uh, this particular house is in um, California, about 30 miles from the Yosemite Park boundary. And how did you determine the latitude, longitude, and how to design that house to be maximum efficiency in cooling and heating for that particular latitude and longitude. You look at the particular northern uh, latitude and then calculate the angles of the sun through the season and then make the overhangs so that it gets full shade in the summertime but in the wintertime when the sun is much lower you get full sun clear into the top of the windows and straight into the solar collectors. For we can show a side view and you can see the solar collector is actually tilted for the optimum gain in the wintertime and yet in the summertime when the sun is higher, the overhang above the collector actually uh, shades it about halfway down so it doesn't overproduce in the summertime, but it's still plenty of heat to take care of the domestic hot water and the hot air to draw the cool air in. The interior of the house, is it any different from any other standard house? Can you vary your uh, plan to a specific client? Yes, you can. For There's nothing unique with the interior. You can have it put any decor that you'd like. So standard construction techniques throughout? Yes, yeah, standard construction techniques, which makes it very easy to get through all the building departments and that. Yes. The best thing about this house design is that nobody else is teaching anything like this passive solar house design that he has built and designed. He's built one. Mo a lot of people talk about it, a lot of people have written books on it, and they don't get around to ever building them the way he's done. And so he's got the praxis together. He's got the, the theory and the practice together in a way that nobody else has done. So uh, it's, what he's done is unique and uh, very powerful, very simple, inexpensive. The best thing about this house design is very inexpensive. So he, he'll be able to produce uh, a whole mall, for instance, where people can live and work in the same place. They won't need vehicles. That's wonderful. Thank you.